Hey guys, it's Kevin here, coming to you with another video about five things. Today, five bugs or insects in Japan that really freak me out. Really freak me out. Five bugs that make the hair on the back of my neck stand up. Number one, the mukade. Now, mukade is a centipede. Now, I grew up in eastern Canada, and a centipede, the biggest centipede you'd ever find would be about that big. But in Japan, centipedes can get up to be like this big or even larger. And the difference between a centipede you'd find in North America versus one you'd find in Japan is that here they are venomous. So if one bites you, you're not going to die, but damn it, you'll wish you never met that centipede. Just scary, freaky looking. I mean, come on, look at that thing. Next, gokiburi. Gokiburi, what's that? It's a cockroach. Yeah. Who likes cockroaches? I don't like cockroaches. You like cockroaches? Now, one difference between the kind of cockroaches we have in eastern Canada, where I'm from, is that, well, those are really small, and the ones here are quite large, and they fly in Japan. I realize that in places like Australia and, you know, other parts around the world, other places around the world, cockroaches fly, but where I grew up, they didn't fly. Next, kemushi. Now, a kemushi is just a, a fuzzy kind of caterpillar. Now, of course, there's so many different types of caterpillars in Japan, those that turn into butterflies, moths, this, that, some are small, some are large. The kind I really dislike are actually very small and they're bright green and they're fuzzy and if they fall out of a tree and land on you or you accidentally touch one, wow, you're in a world of hurt, a world of pain because they're venomous as well. And actually one of my students last year ended up having to go to the doctor after touching one because it really messed them up. Inushi. Um, here's actually a picture I took of one of those little fuzzy freaks um, just a few weeks ago. Kamakiri. Kamakiri? Now it's just a mantis, a praying mantis. Now praying mantises are normally, I think, the really cool insects, actually. But I just had an incident last week where I was walking along in the supermarket and I felt something strange touching my hand. And I looked down and I was holding a shopping bag and there was a large kamagiri uh, praying mantis crawling up my arm and it freaked me out! Uh, kamagiri, the praying mantis, yes. The number one freakiest bug for me in Japan, Suzumebachi. Now the Suzume Bachi, which basically literally means the giant sparrow bee, is otherwise known as a giant Japanese hornet, and these things are freaky! You know what? Just uh, Sunday passed, um, during a marathon in Nagano, 33 marathon, marathon runners were actually sent to the hospital by being, because they were attacked by Suzume Bachi, or giant Japanese hornets. And, uh, well, these things are really huge and freaky and they're really dangerous. More people die of giant Japanese hornet stings every year than of any other animal. Um, so they are literally the most deadly animals in Japan. Man, they're freaky. So there you go guys, another top five. The five freakiest bugs for me in Japan. So, let me know. Are there any bugs that really freak you out? Leave a comment below guys. Take care, have a great day, and See you later.